Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Diamond. Today, I'm reviewing a French wine, but I picked it up in the Texas Hill Country. Well, there's a story behind that. So, today I'm reviewing the Coteau Bourguignon. It is a 2014 Burgundy. It's from France, specifically Cote d'Or. And it is, uh, how much percent alcohol by volume? I can't remember. 12% alcohol by volume. And I paid about $25 for it at Alexander Vineyards. The reason why I got it in the Texas Hill Country is because I picked up this bottle at Alexander Vineyards. He actually does a lot where he works with European wineries to make the wines that he wants to bring back to Texas and sell. And also he's been looking around and scouting a lot of great talent that's in Europe and trying to find some really good manufacturers and winemakers that will help him make and then bring that wine back over to distribute in the United States. And this is one of those bottles. So, and I forgot to say the blend. I wanna say it is two thirds Gamay, one third Pinot Noir. If I'm wrong, flip that and it'll be right. So, let's pour a sample. Right, from a color stand. I'm use my nice little Anakin wine aerator. You can find one of those at wineonthedime.com. And looking at this color, it is, eh, it's, a, it's a light ruby. Yeah, it's a, yeah, I'm gonna say light ruby. Looks gorgeous though. Uh, just nice pink coloration to it. Yeah, this 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 looks nice. This No artifacts, no cloudiness. This, this will be a nice little wine to, to try. So from a nose standpoint, yeah, I'm definitely getting the characteristics of the Gamay. You're getting a lot of that strawberry, kind of that um, slight herbiness that comes from it. The Pinot Noir is giving me a little bit of raspberry, a little bit of cherry, and I'm getting a slight barnyard element out of this and a little bit of leather. Yeah, just a little bit of leather and maybe a touch of cinnamon. Yeah, a touch of cinnamon. So uh, overall, it adds nice little complexity on the nose, but let's see how it tastes. So um, from an acid standpoint, I'm probably gonna give you about a medium acid. I'm getting some acid effects there. Um, I would say light to medium body, probably focusing more on the light uh, than, than the medium. So I guess medium minus body, if that's a thing. I'm gonna say it's a thing now, medium minus. Um, not getting any of the alcohol notes, getting a lot of strong sour strawberry and sour cherry. It's not overpowering, it's just very dominant. The raspberry shows up in the finish and kind of lingers off along with those kind of secondary and tertiary elements. So the in, in the mid palette, I kind of started getting more of that cinnamon that I was getting from the, the oak aging. And then it kind of pulls into that leather, lip, like kind of a little bit of a, like a wet leave effect to it. And, and the barnyard and all of that was really in the finish and it stayed, but it's, but nothing is overpowering. Everything seems to be playing very well together. Which is making this a wine that is pretty enjoyable. So Coteau Bourguignon from France, 2014, from Ardubois and Phil. What am I gonna rate you? I'm gonna rate you a very good. You're not great though. And the reason why is I wanted more length. I wanted more length on, uh, in, in that finish. I, I needed that. You, you, you finish a little short. It would have been great to have a little bit more there. Also, you're not great because you probably need just a tiny bit more aging and to allow some of those tertiary elements to develop a little bit more, some of those aging notes, and that would really bring this out. So if, if you have a bottle of this, I'm gonna tell you to probably hang on to it for another year or so, then try it, and you'll probably have a much better effect than where it is now. With that being said, this is an amazing wine. This is really good. So if you do open it before you get into that zone where it's gonna be great, you're still not gonna be disappointed. I am going to go downstairs and I am gonna enjoy this bottle with my wife and celebrate the fact that we got through the weekend. So if, if you get an opportunity, either picking it up from Alexander Vineyards or getting it from the source or another person that you have in France, I do highly recommend it. It is a good wine. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you had this wine? If so, let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you guys again soon with another episode 
from Wine on the Dime. Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Dime, and today I am reviewing a wine from France, uh, because wine has many things, and I'm gonna have to redo this. It's okay, I can, I'll just edit the video. It'll, it'll make it look good. Then I'm gonna go out. Okay, go. Go and restart your... No, just go, just go, because I'm trying to make sure I don't hit the recording limit. 